Welcome back to Cart Vault TV. You join me this weekend in the Colne Valley. We're at Thorny Weir Fisheries. Yeah, I've only fished this once before, uh, just before Christmas. Done a little overnighter. Can't remember if we actually had one or not, so. Yeah, it was Ramo though. We fished that road bank. It's the only swim left. Yeah, we've got here. We've got a 48 hour. Just doing a little social with me pal, so I'll film as much as we can. Yeah, I won't put him on camera, he's a bit camera shy. But I'll um, flick you around, show you the swim, where I'm fishing like usual. And uh, hopefully we can bag a few. There's actually two swims right next to each other on this like, little spit. But you can't fish out from this swim because there's a rope that runs from the barge. You can see the sunken barge across there so you can't fish out. But yeah, I've got one from the swim, pinged over just to that sunken barge there. And then I've got two out open water from the swim that we're fishing. Yeah, I'll quickly take you and show you that now. Yeah, it's a lovely place down here. You can't really beat it for £20 a night. Especially for the stock. I think there's about 800 fish in here or so. As you can see, so we've doubled up in this swim. Obviously to fish that bay. But I can't fish out from there, so. So we've got one pinged over, just to the barge. Just there. Just on the barge there. And then we've got two out of range. Just in between those two trees, and then divots. One there, one there. So yeah, hopefully we can bag a few. It's looking good for it. Common, absolute stunner of a fish. Let's get her up and show you. 30 pound bang on the nose. About that for a common. What a fish. Con Valley finest. We we'll take that, tripping up to the solid bag. On the new Catran line. Just flick it over and show you the other side. What a fish. We did have the other one, but fortunately the camera played up, so we might be able to get a seal in of it, but there won't be much footage of that. But yeah, what a fish. We get this one back, see if we can bag another one. Right guys, first fish of the session. Started off from a banger, to be fair. Been here about 12, 12 hours now or so. We've had three fish. This one going 29.8. What a banger. Yeah, these Cone Valley fish or something else to be fair to look at. They definitely are. This one tripping up to a little Aquabates 12mm pop-up. 
Yeah. Show the other side quickly. Absolute stunner. Yeah, if you haven't ever fished this place, it's definitely one to uh, have a think about. There aren't many places in the country you can catch, uh, in the country you can catch fish like that for 20 pounds a night, is there? But yeah, we're gonna get that rod back out, see if we can bag another one. As we've had a few fish, I thought I'd just uh, show you the spots where I was fishing. I'll just run you through my mix as well, what I'm using. So, I'll just flip the camera around. So, we've got one just off that, previ off that barge, as I previously mentioned. There's a rope going across there. And obviously, as there's two of us, we've doubled up in this swim. I asked the bailiff if I could fish it from here. He said that was no problem. So I've got one in there and I've got two just basically out in the middle water. Yeah, both both um, spots have done done fish, so yeah, buzzing with that. Just show you my mix and what I've been using. It's a typical mix for me really. It's just LLB baits, milk protein. Just all mulched up in the grinder, and then we've got some monster particle uh, monster mix in there with some added hemp. And I like to scatter just a few. If one of the rods I'm fishing on a pink pop up, so I like just to scatter a few pinks just out through the mix, so it's not a, a big alert. Yeah, and then another tip I like to do: I put about a kilo, kilo and a half of fine rock salt in this one. Obviously, helps your bait preserve as well. And to top that off, I'll just go in with some of the uh, Volt Ooze, pink squid one. Yeah, makes a lovely mix. It's my sort of go-to mix nowadays. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, bag a few more. Well, what a session this has turned out to be. The five bites, landed four. Just had this stunning mirror, 28 pound. What a fish. This one falling for a little choddy. Couldn't resist it. Yeah, sun's out. Still got 24 hours to go to be fair, so hopefully we can bag a few more. Let's quickly drop it down, show the other side. I think they are uh, due to spawn. Well, a couple of them have spawned to be fair. A couple of these I've had that have spawned out. The bailiff did say they uh, started spawning last week and stopped again, so I should imagine half of them, quite a lot of stock in here. I think there's like seven, 800 fish in here, so Half of them probably spawned and half of them are probably still to go. So yeah, rods back out on the money. See if we can bag a few more and I'll update ya. So, turning to an absolute banger of a session so far. Still got tonight and tomorrow to go. Tomorrow daytime. Fifth fish. 
six runs. Just had a nice tench as well, he slipped in back though. But yeah, I'm gonna smash that rod back out now. So I can see him showing out there. Hopefully we'll have a few more before we go. Turn it into a really good session. Off to a flying start. We're doing five fish for the day. They're still showing out there. So hopefully we'll bag a few more. Just whacked another naked chod out, that's just what I've been nailing them on. I had three on a naked chod now and two on a solid bag. So yeah, a few people turn up. A bit, that's to be expected. The water like this, very busy. Yeah, I'm going to get some food on in a minute. And uh, I'll catch up with you through the night if we have anything more. Session's turned out better than I expected. Six fish of the session. Lovely 24 pound mirror. Get up and show you if she lets us. Feisty one. Come on, go. Come on. Come on. This one don't like having this picture taken. There she is. 24 pounds and ounces. Another absolutely beautiful fish. This one's a the choddy, couldn't resist it. Flip around, show you the other side. This one's got a little bit of damage from spawning as well, so we'll whack some carp care on this after. There's the other side of her. Absolutely stunning fish up here. Absolute stunners. Get her down. Get some carp care on her. A couple of these have already spawned last week, so we've got a little bit of damage on them. Always help when we can. Just whack a bit on her here and there. And just use a bit of your water out your bucket just to seal it off. Bosh. Well, after putting that last fish back. Getting the rod back out again. We had that lovely 24 pound mirror. Light's coming to a close now, as you can see, behind me. The sun's just dropping behind those trees. Yeah. We had six fish in all, two tench, six carp, and lost one. So hopefully we can bag a few more. If that, to be fair, I'd be happy with the session that we've had. It's been an absolute banger. But yeah, if I have any food tonight, I'll update you. Seven fish of the session. A little gnarly common. It's about 11 o'clock now in the evening. In the afternoon, sorry. Well, morning. It's been a long one. <laughs> but yeah, rods are back out. Let's see if we can bag a few more. You hear that, mate? Well, we're the second day in now. We had seven fish. Not much happened in the night. We had a hook pull at 11, uh, half 11 last night to a wee bed. And we had that one this morning about half 10 ish. Nothing since. It looks mega out there for a bite. The sun is up. A few cruising about, so stuck a couple of zigs over the top of them. One at three foot, one at four and a half. It's only about seven foot deep out there at max. Yeah, hopefully we can nick one on one or two on one of them. Yeah, it's looking mega for it. Been a banger of a session to be fair. Had three from the sunken barge now. Also been using a new leader this week, a new product from uh Catran. Yeah, mega bit of a uh, leader, I'll just show you it. So it's this stuff. Komodo chain core and I've been using their enduro braided up link that's mega stuff as well to be fair that's had six fish it still looks new 
normally I have to change it after a couple but yeah that lead has been around that boat a few times there's not a nick in it mega supple as well actually I'll just show you a couple of bricks obviously you wouldn't be fishing bricks out there but just an example so as you can see that it just lays over anything you put it up against sort of thing mega stuff super abrasion resistant as well so what more could you want really so I'll definitely be uh, switching over to that going forward but yeah we'll uh, see what we can do see if we can bag a few more and we'll catch up with you in a bit So, first light now guys, that middle rod just ripped off, this lovely mirror, let's get her up and show you her, there she is, 21 pound on the nose, what a fish, show the other side of her, Another one tripping up to that solid bag. Still got a couple of hours to go. Rods are back out, so hopefully we can hit one or two more. So, last couple of hours now guys. Did that one at five o'clock this morning. First light. Nothing since. Fingers crossed we get a rip on before we leave. Well, all packed up. That's a wrap. No more fish. But it's been a banger of a session. Yeah, so I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like more content and I'll see you on the next one.